Who ate all the pies? Who ate all the pies? You've heard the anthem before, sung on the terraces, aimed at those slightly overweight players carrying a bit of timber. But here at Copper 90, rather than abuse them, we want to celebrate them. So we've compiled a list of the top 10 fattest footballers. Anyway, they're not really fat, are they? They're just big bones, technically. So this is Copper 90, and these are the top 10 fattest footballers ever. At 10, it's Mickey Quinn. He's fat, he's round, he scores at every ground. Supporters used to chant this at the former Portsmouth, Newcastle and Coventry striker. The Sky Blues cult hero was once nicknamed Sumo and was never shy about poking fun at his own size. He once referred to himself as the Premier League's fastest player over one yard. At nine, it's Thomas Brolin. The baby-faced Swede is best remembered for three things. Scoring the goal to eliminate England at Euro 92, being an expensive flop at Leeds United and being a big guy. Even in his prime when at Palmer, Brolin was never exactly slim, but by the time he arrived at Leeds, it was clear the Swede was not at peak fitness. His time at Ellen Road didn't go well, perhaps because he admitted he was playing badly on purpose and he was frequently fined for not bothering to come to training. At eight, it's Andy Reid. Another footballer to have his own weight-based chant. Andy Reid, Andy Reid, running down the wing. Andy Reid, Andy Reid, being to Burger King. Despite being well known for his rotund appearance, Reid has worked hard on his size in recent seasons, shedding nearly two stone and is still going strong at Nottingham Forest. At seven, it's Ronaldo. The Brazilian, once known as Ophenomeno for his electric displays, is perhaps the most obvious example of how not to control your diet as a footballer. Despite a bulging waistline, the goals continued to flow as Ronaldo defied his size with his prestigious skill. Once Cristiano appeared on the scene, Ronaldo later became known as the Fat Ronaldo as people differentiated between them. A recent trip onto a Brazilian celebrity weight loss TV show recently saw Ronaldo shed the extra weight and get back to a slimmer version. At six, it's Neville Southall. The goalkeeping legend made almost 600 appearances for Everton and rarely cut a figure that suggested he was a professional sportsman. Southall's extra weight did not affect his playing prowess though, with his reflexes up there with the best during his successful time at Everton. At five, it's Ferenc Puskas. Though he became one of the finest players in the world, many would have been forgiven for dismissing Puskas as unfit upon sight of his barrel stomach. Indeed, the story goes that ahead of their shock 6-3 loss at Wembley in 1953, an English player said, look at that fat little chap, we'll murder this lot. And yet, despite his weight, Puskas was deceptively fast with extraordinary natural ability. At four, it's Jan Molby. The Big Dane masterminded the Liverpool midfield in the 1980s and early 1990s. A cult hero, regular appearances and goals for Liverpool meant that his weight was always just a side issue. Bowlby's career nosedived after being injured in 1992 and unable to train, he piled on the pounds. At three, it's Neil Ruddock. Any player who has weight clauses inserted into some of his contracts deserves to be on this list. Razor reportedly had to have his shorts specially made for him during his time at Swindon Town and once he boasted that he eats 212 steak and kidney pies a year. At two, it's Steve McNulty. McNulty is noted for his aerial ability and unsurprisingly, his commanding presence. More surprising though is the proverbial good touch for such a big man. In fact, the defender who still plays for Luton has achieved four promotions with three different clubs. And at one, it's William Fatty Folks. William Fatty Folks was a keeper in England in the late 19th and early 20th centuries. Folk's weight was reported to be 24 stone upon his retirement, and the player was best remembered for becoming so annoyed at a goal that he conceded in the FA Cup final that after a period of reflection, during which he got undressed, he burst from the dressing room to chase the ref. He is also said to have once eaten all his teammates' breakfast at a hotel. Well, there you have it. The top 10 fattest footballers of all time, at least in our opinion. But if we missed out on someone, let us know. Leave a comment, and don't forget to subscribe to Copper 90.